remember going there to watch a winter series race. I think it was a series called Formula Parma Audi, actually. Audi. Uh, by chance. Yeah, so when I was still racing in karting, I went to watch some of the guys moving up to car racing and they were doing a winter series race at Brands Hatch on the Indy track. I remember it was freezing cold, raining. It was probably in February or something. And I remember seeing how steep Paddock Hill Bend looked from the outside. All of the track, or majority of the tracks in the UK have, have a lot of character, a lot of ups and downs, and they're quite unique, they're quite different to the ones we race on normally in DTM and, and modern European tracks. So um, it's nice to bring these modern cars to a, an old-fashioned track that has a lot of history and, you know, the British Grand Prix has been held at, at Brands Hatch quite a lot sort of before my time in the 70s I think um, and maybe early 80s so there's some legendary sort of footage of James Hunt and Nicky Lauda and um, Nigel Mansell racing at, at Brands so it's kind of weird but cool to think that we're driving the, the exact same corners as those guys whatever 40 50 years later that's pretty cool on the Grand Prix track, there's a few a few great corners. That's the nice thing about it. I mean, the, obviously the first one, Paddock Hill Bend, stands out just because of the big elevation and drop on the exit, um, and everyone can see it because it's turn one and it's quick. Um, but then the corners out the back of the circuit, which aren't that easy to get to, are, are a big challenge. Are very quick corners. Um, it's a high speed track, and um, I think that's nice for, for us. Unfortunately, I squeezed somebody onto the grass when I was trying to hold my position on cold tyres, but I could have finished fourth and, and I was able to overtake there. I think the main thing is tyres. If, if, if there's a difference in tyres in terms of strategy or whatever, then you can definitely overtake people there, but it's one of the more difficult tracks to overtake on. I don't remember winning there in, in Formula Renault or Formula 3, and in DTM, I came close to winning 2006, I think the first time we went there, and lost the race by making a mistake. So it's mainly sort of painful memories. Um, yeah, hopefully we can change that. Probably Paddock Hill Bend, but uh, if not, I would go out to the back of the circuit. I, I, it's quite embarrassing to say I don't know the names of the corners because as a proper motorsport British fan, you should know the names of all the corners. But um, I've been racing in Germany now for about 17, 16 years, so maybe that's a good excuse. But um, the first quick right-hander at the back of the circuit is, would be a cool place to watch. I think the main thing, that just, just when you're hanging around the paddock and people come for an autograph, just the fact that they're English and they talk to you and they're knowledgeable and just to see the the love of motorsport and the fact that obviously I can interact a bit easier in my home language um, just makes it feel special.